Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 26. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to restrict the access to instance or database during maintenance operations. This slide talks about the scenario and the solution. The scenario is pretty straightforward. Uh, we want to restrict the access to the instance or database during uh, DB maintenance activities. Let's say the in as an instance owner, we log in into the uh, uh, instance or database and we want to run uh, some kind of maintenance activity like it, it can be offline backup, it can be reorg, it can be run stats or it can be even some batch data load etc. So when we are running these kind of typical database maintenance activities, we don't want any user uh, intrusion. So we don't want uh, uh, some user to get connected to the database during this kind of ad maintenance activities. So the typical solution uh, so far had been is to use the quasi instance or quasi database command to quasi the instance or database during the maintenance activities. But this solution comes with a limitation. So the limitation is users with DBADM or quasi connect authority can still be able to connect to the quasi database. So this is a limitation. Now the effective solution for that was introduced in version 9.7 and above. So that is actually to use the quasi instance command with restricted access keyword. So what this restricted access keyword does is it will not allow the users with DBADM and Quase Connect authority to connect to the database until it is the instance is unquased. So this is a very important thing and very useful feature also. Let's go look at a few examples and uh, we'll demonstrate that for better understanding. Okay. So here actually you can see uh, I need to start the instance, I'll activate the database, I'll connect to the test database, okay, and I am granting dbadm access uh, on the database test to user agent P, okay, and also I am granting quiz connect authority on the database to user Dr. Evil, okay, and uh, after this, I am just running a couple of queries to list the authorities. Okay, let's just run this quick. Okay, the, the instance is starting. Activate DB test is going on. And connect to test using the instance owner. Okay, so let me show you what has occurred here. So connection to the database using uh, instance owner is done. Then I am granting dbadm access to user agent P and then I am granting quiz connect authority on the database to user Dr. Evil. Okay. And I am running this uh, sysproc dot auth list authorities for auth ID for agent P. So agent P will have the uh, dbadm access. So if you look at here, you will find that access control, sorry. Okay, so this is agent P. So he will have access control, yes. Uh, data access, yes. And DBADM, also yes. Okay, so agent P is given uh, DBADM access. Then the next query is for Dr. Evil. So Dr. Evil is actually given Quase Connect Authority. Okay, let's check that. Yes, Quase Connect Authority has been granted to him. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is how the initial thing is set up. Okay, now I'm going to Quase the database and I'm doing a connect reset. Okay. Okay, I have Quase the database and I've done a connect reset. Now in app 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the database test as user agent P using password platypus and I'm doing a connect reset. Since the database is quiesed, okay, we will be expecting that nobody can be able to connect. But uh, as this particular agent P is having DBADM access and Dr. Evil is having the quiz connect access, uh, both these connections will be possible. Okay, like they, they will be connecting. Okay, copy this. Let's test that out. See both the connections are, you know, they are, see here, SQL authorization ID, both the connections are succeeded, which means even though the instance is quiesed, still the 
db adm authority user or a user with voice connect authority will still be able to connect so that is the uh, thing okay now we'll go to app 1 and what we'll do is we'll connect to test we'll unquiz the database connect reset then we'll quiz the instance okay so this time i'm actually what i'm doing is i'm quizzing the instance db to inst1 is the instance name uh, user db to inst1 immediate so i'm just quizzing the instance in app 1 okay let me just do that okay connect to test and quiz the database connect reset i have quizzed the instance now the instance is in the quizzed state okay now let's look at what happens in app 2 so in app 2 when you go and connect Again, I am connecting as a person with DBADM access and a person as Quays Connect access, Quays Connect authority. Okay, the same thing I am going to repeat again. Okay, so this time you can see that a person who is having Agent P is having a DBADM access, so he is still able to connect even though if the instance is uh, quizzed. Uh, the person who is having uh, the Doctor Evil, right? So Doctor Evil is having a Quays Connect authority, so he is not granted on the uh, access on the quizzed instance, but uh, a user agent P who is DBADM is still able to connect even though the instance is quizzed. Okay, so this is the important thing. Okay, so now how to overcome this? So in order to overcome this, I'm going to app one again. I'm unquizzing the instance. First, I have to you know unquiz the instance. Then I'm going to again quiz it back, but this time I'm going to use the keyword restricted access. Look at here. This is the important thing that I was talking about. So restricted access. This is what I'm going to uh, do in a different way okay this is the solution that we are suggesting so copy this go to app 1 okay and unquiz the instance yes unquiz successful again i'm again i'm quizzing the instance with the keyword restricted access okay now let us look at what is happening in app 2 so when i again uh, connect from app 2 look both the connections are rejected See, the, a person who is having DBADM is also not able to connect. A person who is having uh, Quays Connect Authority is also not able to connect to the database. So this is the important change that was uh, brought upon by the restricted access keyword. Okay. So uh, any kind of maintenance operations when you want to exclusively lock the instance uh, so that there is no user in intrusion, you can always use this command. This is a very simple command quiz instance instance name user username uh, restricted access immediate so only the user db to inst1 will be able to access other than sysadm syscontrol uh, sysmon these people will be able to access the app users the dbadm users or the users with quiz connect authority will not be able to access the instance or the database that is the primary point okay that's it in this video tutorial thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial uh, thanks very much bye bye